Hi, Sid at T1G. Today we're going to be covering speed reloads and tack reloads. So a speed reload is done whenever we have run our gun dry, when there's no more ammo in it, and we need to get am ammunition in the gun as quickly as possible. Now ideally, if we're doing a speed reload or attack reload, we want to move to a position of cover or concealment. Now concealment, it hides the shooter. Cover, it'll stop bullets. So engine blocks and things like that, that would be considered cover. And then bushes or sheets or drapes, those would be considered concealment. So if we draw the gun, and we have fired our last shot, the slide is locked to the rear, we want to bring the gun into our workspace. We don't want to leave the gun out here, we don't want to bring the gun down here. Our workspace will be right in front of us. Now from this position I can look through the gun so I can see if there's anything coming at me, but also I can identify if there's an issue with the gun, I can, I can see any problems on it. So as I bring it into my workspace, I'm going to push the magazine release and drop the magnets in the gun. The, our support hand, since it's not doing anything, we're going to give it some work. It's going to come down and grab a fresh magazine as the other magazine is falling out of the gun. Now you notice how the way I've pulled the magazine out, we call this an index grip. My finger is actually stretched across the spine of the magazine. The reason we do that is under low light or no light conditions, we can still point. So this is going to help guide the magazine into the magwell. We're going to seat the magazine all the way into the magwell and do that firmly. We don't want to come back off and strike the magazine again. That's going to cost us time and it could induce a malfunction. So we want to seat it in place and then we're just going to push on the slide lock lever with our thumb and send the slide home. We're now ready to fire with a fresh round in the gun. Another technique is instead of pushing the slide lock lever, we can come across or we can pinch and slingshot the slide to send it home with a round in the chamber. So that's a speed reload. Now attack reload is whenever there's a lull or a pause in the fight. Ideally, we still want to go for cover or concealment, but this one, we still have rounds that are in the magazine. We might want to keep those for later. So what we're going to do with a attack reload is, we're going to leave the magazine in the gun, we're going to immediately go for a fresh magazine out of our mag pouch. From here, with that same index grip, we're going to come off the spine of the magazine and just drop our index finger along the side of the mag. This is going to leave a little pocket that we can grab our old magazine with. We're going to pinch that magazine and pull it out of the mag well and then index a fresh magazine in the gun. Now this magazine would ideally have some rounds in it. We may not know how many, but we want to save them for later. We can put those in a pouch, pocket, or uh, index it into our waistband. Either one. So find a convenient place. We don't want to put that magazine back in our regular mag pouches because we're when we need to draw fresh new ammo, we don't want a half spent magazine uh, getting in the way. So put it someplace convenient, but not too convenient. Once we've finished there, we can come back out. If you feel the need that you have to rack the slide, you can, but ideally there should be a round in the chamber since we've still got ammo in the gun. So now that we've practiced it dry, we'll get on the range and do it live. Thanks for watching the video. If you guys have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below.